Hello and welcome back. So to go along with the Am I Weird video that was the last video, I wanted to do a video about the benefits of having EDS. I hear so much about the negative. And one thing that can help in learning to deal with things is to look for the positives. Look for the silver lining. It can make your life a lot easier to live. You're still going to have the same problems whether you look for the positive or the negative. It's all going to be in how you view things. If you look for the negative, you're gonna feel worse about yourself. If you look for the positive, you can feel better about yourself. And that, how you feel about yourself can actually make a big influence on how, on your body and everything else. So I wrote down a lot of thoughts. I'll probably keep glancing at my paper, but um, anyone ever have trouble with hospital bracelets? I hear that's a huge problem outside of the EDS community. Getting them off, trying to get the scissors in there to cut them off, different things like that. You know what? Most people in the EDS community are probably smiling right now. We can get them off. We don't have to cut them off. If we can't get the scissors in there, you just move your hand right and you can start slipping it off. I went to a thing the other day and I had one of the park bracelets on and my husband actually was like, well, you actually put it on tight enough. She might have to do something different to get it off in her usual way. And they looked at him like it was weird, but it's who I am. The same can be said of handcuffs. Now, I know a lot of places are going to zip ties, probably for that reason. It's kind of harder to get out of a zip tie because it cuts in a little bit and you can't position your hand just right to slip out of it. I wonder how many people who have slipped out of handcuffs have EDS. <laughs> and for those of us who have never broken the law, never experienced it, I can't say, but that would be my assumption just from things I've heard. So, another thing. I, my son with his wrist recently, he broke his wrist, but I got talking to my physical therapist and we think he probably would have broken um, somewhere else had he had not had he not had EDS and it wouldn't have been as severe but he would have there's more uh, instances where he probably would have broken if he didn't have EDS in other words when we do break we break good um, my I have another son who's broken the in, inner condyle off his foot so he had to have surgery this one they're going back and forth on surgery or not. They're hoping they can avoid it. So we don't, when we break, it's bad, but we don't break as often. We're more likely to strain or sprain or things like that than actually break, but we can break. And when we do break, it's kind of, it, we kind of feel like it's, how come I broke there and like that? So, um, friends. You know who your friends are and who they aren't. This condition does not allow the opportunity for friends to be fair weather friends. But at the same time, it brings friends who understand and are caring and loving and especially everyone in the EDS community. I mean, we just, we understand each other more. We're everything like that. And they're the type of friends you want to have. Um, we learn to value it, our time, our energy, those around us, things like that. Kind of that gratitude portion. We can, when we do dislocate, it's easier to relocate things. Yes, we dislocate a lot, but we can relocate it really well. And sometimes we're in situations where anyone would dislocate, but we can pop it back in and keep going. Um, the same with sprains or things like that. We may sprain our ankle and we'll be good to go in just a tiny bit, whereas others who did the same thing would be stopped and sidelined for days. We do, there are times it's worse and we have to take time, but most people would have been even worse than that if they didn't have EDS. Um, you learn that you're not just your job. So many people, especially as adults, they're their job or their, how they're doing in school or things like that. That's who they are. We learn we have to define ourselves by more than that. 
Um, it looks like I'm going to have to have a part two of this video because we're already at five minutes and I have a lot more that I can go into. So I will probably stop it there and ask you to join me in the next video, which would be, or yeah, the very next video I put up will be the next section. Thank you for your time and I will see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.